We're letting that side of flow. Right there. And just keep applying flux. And now with that heat, I just keep building it and building it. And all these experts that do soldering, they don't show you this because they usually don't follow this process and to each their own. But I'm telling you right now, this works excellent. You see the conductor actually loosened up. Boom. Don't worry about the carbon. A little bit of carbon on there. That will come right off. Coming in. Hit it. Done. There you go. Got that nice pocket there, which is perfect. That flux is just going to wick right in there. Beautiful. So I get guys that will ask me, you know, why don't you use paste flux? You certainly can, but liquid, you can see, does that capillary action. And that's what we like. You can see how that connector is coming out. Let me adjust my fan so I'm not uh, inhalating all those fumes. Okay. And if you do this right, you're going to notice, once again, that flux sits on top. It becomes more like a river on top, and that's ideal. Because the longer the, the flux can stay there, you're going to get an even better connection. we got a teeny bit of solder, and I'm just going to keep building. A little bit more. We're gonna check our size. We'll see which one we need. Okay, you'll notice this one is a little small. See? Now it's applying heat again. So we're good. We want this seam to meet. All we gotta do is work it in. And there we go. So you can see now how this is centered. I like to keep that centered. What I'm doing now is confirming that the other leads, not pin four, but the other remaining leads have no continuity, meaning that they are not making contact with the number four pin on the spindle plug, which is exactly what you wouldn't want. You only want it to be making contact with the ground lead because that's the allocation of that pin on the spindle plug.